because right now I'm looking at you and you're speaking, but actually I'm hearing somebody else. Somebody else, yes. Yeah. I'm hearing someone else, actually not even the same gender as you, <laughs> right? With a very a completely different voice to you, completely different intonation, um, um, maybe from a different country, I don't know, a different world view, but I'm seeing you. How am I going to get close to you? How are we going to build trust like this? You know. Exactly. Now, and 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 even more so, how am I going to do that when this guy, who I also don't know, is sitting there in the booth? Let's at least bring this person out, so that you can see him, I can see him, he can see me, and he can see you, and together we have a much better chance then of sussing out what what is really going on, what what is what people are really trying to say, what people are really trying to communicate, then we have a better chance of doing so. So you have a better chance in doing so, especially yes. when there is a harmony between uh, the, the, the spoken language, the body language, and listening. Yes, well, when you can actually see and feel what's going on. Exactly. You know. And, and, and I, 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 I uh, also have noted that you pay careful attention to listening. <laughs> so can you tell me uh, about uh, listening, more about listening, and how it is also healing to listen to the stories of those survivors or those who have been subjected to, uh, to, to violence. Mm -hmm.